Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Here are the dumbest signs found at the anti-Trump protest in London. Evidently, tens of thousands of people showed up in the streets of London today to protest President Trump. In fact, I believe there were two rallies, with the second being larger than the first. Most of the signs that were waved by thousands of protesters were given out by Stop the War Coalition and the Socialist Workers' Party. But as you will see, most of what they displayed was beyond dumb. In fact, they were moronic and petty. The protesters flew a giant Trump baby balloon over the city. Then they took to social media to insult the President of the United States. They took aim at his suits and said they were ill-fitting. I have never thought that. Trump wears expensive tailored suits. But that's the best they could do? Pitiful. That was just the beginning of the Trump hate fest in the streets and online. And London's Mayor Sadiq Khan was right in the thick of it. I know Londoners are resolutely opposed to the politics of fear and despair, Khan stated. The U.S. has always stood by our side as a beacon for tolerance, openness and respect. This protest is not anti-American, far from it. Most of those marching on Friday will love the United States, just as I do. But having a special relationship means that we expect the highest standards from each other, and it also means speaking out when we think the values we hold dear are under threat. This is why President Trump did not go to London where Khan and others had stoked hatred against him. They had their radical throngs in the streets to make it look like all Brits hate Trump, but that just isn't so. The majority love him. But just like here at home, the radical minority is the loudest and most obnoxious element to be seen. It was nothing short of a brutal mob mentality in London today. London is facing a crime wave under Khan's watch. According to reports, the murder rate there has surpassed that of New York City. And yet he has time enough to pick a fight with an ally across the pond. Go figure. President Trump is standing up for the United States and for those in Britain who support Brexit. That would not include communists and those who have other nefarious agendas. What I can tell you is there are an awful lot of useful idiots in London, willing to do the bidding of Marxists. Protesters blocked roads, screamed obscenities and got high in the streets. Classy. And Antifa was among them. Khan, like other devout progressives, has turned London into a crap heap. All of this nonsense just makes me love President Trump even more and it makes me want to defend him harder. Keep it up guys. You are winning more and more people over to the Trump camp with your hatred. Many of the signs were handmade and were less than intellectual, to put it mildly. Most of it was unintelligible nonsense and stupidity. The open borders globalists were there in attendance as well. President Trump was blunt with the Brits that they are on the verge of losing their culture and their country because they have thrown their borders open to invading foreigners, with no thought to vetting who comes into their country. It's like inviting people into your home off the street that you don't know. It's guaranteed not to end well. That is why rape, murder and violent crime is through the roof in London. Stabbings and acid attacks are commonplace there now. Not to mention terrorist attacks. London is no longer a vacation destination. Chicks on the right reminds us of what racism is. Something tells me they have absolutely no idea what racist actually means. Reminder, a racist is someone who believes that one race is superior to another race. Trump does not believe that. There is zero evidence of that. But carry on, cause my narrative. Those that weren't morons, were just savagely gross in their message of hate for Trump. I don't blame him for skipping London. Did you know that former UK ambassador to the US? Sir Christopher Meyer, 74, was beaten bloody by two attackers at Victoria Station in London on Wednesday? Those were teenagers that almost beat Meyer to DH. So, yes. Skipping London was a great idea. Nigel Farage tweeted about the beating of the British ambassador to the US, thoughts with former British ambassador to the US, Sir Christopher Meyer, who was brutally attacked yesterday. He has been doing a lot of media about how important the Trump visit is. Police say it looks like a robbery. We'll see. And of course, there were the obligatory Hitler references. Because when you have nothing else, play the Hitler card, even though it is not remotely related to President Trump on any issue. In the midst of the hate there was also one or two Trump supporters who were beaten and abused. London is not the great city it used to be. That's for sure. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.